I started off with 17. I'm down now. I'm winning it. It's over. It, it, as far as I'm concerned, it's over. These two guys cannot win. There's no path. All eyes are now on Ted Cruz and John Kasich as they team up to stop Trump in Indiana next. New tonight, KRDO News Channel 13's Eric Fink is live in studio looking closer at those numbers. Eric? Heather, Ted Cruz and John Kasich can't mathematically win the nomination on the first ballot. Their only hope is a contested convention. But tonight, two Southern Colorado political insiders question whether this latest stop Trump effort will work. Donald Trump racks up a sweep in the Northeast. And it's past crunch time for Cruz and Kasich. They realize it's do or die. They have to keep Trump right now from reaching the 1,237 mark, and desperate times call for desperate measures. Now, his two challengers who've traded jabs on the campaign trail are working together. But Colorado College political science professor Bob Levy says it's too little, too late. Whatever you think of Donald Trump, he is the one who is getting the votes. This actually is an anti-small-D democratic conspiracy to stop the person who is getting the most votes from being the nominee. The strategy starts here next week, where Kasich will bow out of Indiana so Cruz can grab the 57 winner-take-all delegates. Cruz will then pull his campaign out of Oregon and New Mexico, two states that divide delegates proportionally. 109 delegates in three states that could stop Trump from reaching the magic number of 1237 or backfire and only pave a clearer path to his nomination. Yes, there is a statistical chance that this might work, but I don't see how the convention could take the nomination away from the person who is the clear choice of Republican voters. Daniel Cole with the El Paso County GOP argues Cruz and Kasich joining forces plays into Trump's narrative. And he's taking full advantage. Trump is pointing at that inside baseball game and saying, see what they're doing? Vote for me. I just want to make America great again. So while they're doing math, he's doing PR, and he's doing it very well. Indiana votes next Tuesday. That's the first state that puts the Cruz Kasich alliance to the test. And with his five victories tonight, Donald Trump is now fewer than 300 delegates from 1237. Live tonight, Eric Fink, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Eric. And on the other side, Senator.